what you are about to see is real. All video and audio was captured in an actual paranormal investigation. Nothing has been manufactured or staged. Hello and welcome to Local Haunts. I'm your host, Steve Christian. Joining me as usual on this investigation is my co-host, Pamela Teresa, medium in the raw, along with the Spooky Crew, Savannah Huffingham, Luke Lurcher, and Kevin Remington. Also joining us is Lauren Crisp, and our host for the evening, one of the owners of Old City Brewery, Susan Miller. And the investigation starts right now. Is that where the boss is sitting? <laughs> Well, I definitely have him who wants to move stuff. Oh, awesome. Hope he does. Don't don't stop him. No. She, she hates things to move. Yeah. So she keeps things from happening for me. Don't be moving today. She hates good TV. Mm. Is that where the boss is sitting? <laughs> <laughs> Put them all in the Okay. We're going dark. Go Hi, Lauren. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hi. Gotta get you some camera time because you're new. We don't have Hi any. Hi, guys. <laughs> we don't want you for the sacrifice. Hope we don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shh, no one told her? No. Yes. They won't want me. <laughs> right? We did you a favor. Uh, yes. Old City Brewery in the beginning of the investigation. So when does Facebook Live come into this? Oh, yeah. And, and when we go to where it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Where we will suffer. We'd be like, should we start doing a live shop there first? Seven fifteen. Wait a minute. I mean, do you really want to go back to the heat after you're gone? No. So when does Facebook Live come into this? Oh, yeah. And, and when we go to where it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Where we will suffer. And when you go to where it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Where we will suffer. And when you go to where it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Where we will suffer. And when you go to where it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Where we will suffer. We'd be like, should we start doing a live shop there first? Seven fifteen. Wait a minute. I mean, do you really want to go back to the heat after you're gone? No. So when does Facebook Live come into this? Oh, yeah. And, and when you go to where it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Where we will suffer. And when you go to where it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Where we will suffer. And when you go to where it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Where we will suffer. And when you go to where it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Where we will suffer. And when you go to where it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Where we will suffer. And when you go to where it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Where we will suffer. And when you go to where it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Where we will suffer. And when you go to where it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Where we will suffer. And when you go to where it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Where we will suffer. And when you go to where it's cool. Yeah. Okay. Where we Right? I know it's like, 
Coming up on Local Haunts, what we all want to see, spirit caught on camera. said hats. Oh, someone. Okay. Uh, just, just. I have a question. If they're in here, why would they be in here? Jamaica, man. See, I haven't hit critical level plot yet. Only the rest of Yeah, tell you, uh, to me, the eco rugs are hotter. Yeah, it was pretty well, hot. there's a little bit of flow this up here. This is a little bit humid. This is very humid. Yeah. There's, there's a little more air this flow. This is pleasant to me. What's that wrong with you? Pleasant? It's far. Yeah, it's pleasant. If you turn this way, Pleasant's about 65. <laughs> I'm just messing with Steve because he's always like complaining about the heat. Steven? Yes. He's a Viking fan. Exactly. <laughs> I'm Nordic. That's crazy. Come over here, Steven. He's from Scandinavia. Okay. Is this Savannah? She's going to be a fireman. Wow. Uh, Firewoman. Oh, my God. Okay. Now you know it's cool around here. I've had a valley, uh, but... Hey! How are you? Okay, it's solid. Now we're looking at what's right here. Excuse me. Oh, it's all good. Each and every one of y'all, Phil. Every seat in here is full. Phil, it's a bar. Where there should not be more, you'll fill it. logically be warmth, you will feel the warmth, okay? So, I'm going to take her over here. Every seat in your house is full and we're fixing to prove it. Now, right, here we go. I'm going to show you how it goes. Okay. I'm going to be a little bit in the light here. I'll be out of the way. So we'll start right here. 
Just put your hand through here, you're full of worms. Feel that? I'm trying to get it. Slight warmth. This is Where a should slight it be? change. Right there, bam. Now pull okay. out. Now pull out. There's somebody sitting right there, you'll fill it there as well. You, may, you don't go right in, you, okay. you, you graze in. You can fill them. In every single seat. Pull out, right over here. You do definitely have people nice here. Nice but the physical validation is most important. This is physical evidence. Over here. <laughs> every last one. This is a cooler room. There's no way that you can be able to validate that in a warmer room because it's so warm. It's over here as well. Same sensation. Want to give it a shot? Just like we have a warmth about us, yeah, it's all the power. There. Okay, yeah. see them right here as well. Each and every one of the seats. Here. <laughs> They just have to like this place. How would they, or they, would they be um, customers maybe that have passed away? Or, or they may have actually had a work in this building? Or they don't they necessarily may have, have no tie whatsoever. They, oh, really? they could just come in because there's a building here. Just like, you know, this is a public space, and so mm -hmm. people come in and out. They come in and out. It's very welcoming. People that like beer, you know, it's comfortable. They'll come in. So yeah. both are true. It could be connected to somebody who was here, but also to. Um, it's just as random as our physical life is as yeah. well. So like if you go That's to the cool. train station, there's a lot of people there. Go to Walmart. Walmart's a very busy space. Yeah. Yes. Most definitely. So um, you have uh, definitely a female that hangs out in the front office there. Is that where you've had some movement in there where things have been moved around in the front office area there? Where you, where you put stuff and then you come back, it's not where you put it? So anyway, she likes to put stuff around, and also to that door that's very heavy, should not move, should not shut. She's constantly trying to shut that door. Oh, okay. So the door that you tried to come out of, it's locked in, because I was back there just chit-chatting. She was taking me on a little tour of the place. Okay, so does that make sense cool. as far as some of the stuff that's kind of gone on in the front office area? Well, you know, when we first opened up, and it was it was a little eerie. Of course, we didn't know the building, but it was like odd, but it's kind of like now we know. Okay. Okay. Uh, the space and, and there are there's a familiarity about it. Okay. And I know that I've seen I've been mostly out in the warehouse was where I'll see things out the corner of my eye, and I'm not the only one that's done that. But as far you know, as have y'all yeah. have y'all noticed occasionally where you know you put a piece of paper in a certain place and then you go back? Well, and yeah, it's quite because that's for stuff. Okay, that's her. Okay. <laughs> she's, she's not trying to hide it. You mean yeah. I'm not forgetting where I'm No, oh. she's not. She's trying to help. Oh, she good. thinks she's helping. So actually, look to the logical place of where where it should be, or where you were going to put it, or where okay. it was, okay. and that's where you'll find it. And okay. that should jog your memory too, to where it'd be like. That's where it started out. I thought I brought it up here, right? That's that's what's been going on. Anyway, so um, she just likes to help. That's all. She's good. been here for a while. Um, for quite a while. Probably before you guys were here. Yeah, yeah probably. Um, How long have you been in this building? Eight years. Much longer than that, she has. Um, yeah. So she didn't come with you. <coughs> this is an old building. It's very, I don't know when it uh, when it was built, either late 1800s or early 1900s. Oh, really? That old? Well, she's given me like 1917. She's given me the number 1917 earlier. I don't know what the relevance is of 1917 of the space, or maybe something was added on about 1970. 17, excuse me, 17 is being the relevant number. So she did a lot of talking. 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 Um, sometimes when you're in the front, you feel like somebody's behind you and you try to look around. We've got a yeah. male up that's with her as well mm -hmm. um, that does that. So he stands more by the um, the umbrellas. Okay. Sometimes if you see out of nowhere the um, hangers moving, like moving, he, he'll be we'll have to like for that. Okay, yeah. So she's more behind the desk and she's trying to move the pens and the papers and shut the door when it's left open and talks okay. to Patty. Okay, good. <laughs> so that's why she has a low CD. <laughs> yeah, the door should be shut. It's very interesting, and that's just her personality. So, so she's my helper. Yes, yes. So you'll see that an awful lot of how she operates is, is pretty much falling in line with you because she knows you. Okay, good. She's definitely older, I'd have to say, more like 65, 66. Mm -hmm. Now, that's not really old, but I'm saying she's not a young thing. Okay. 
Okay. Six, I'm five, standing six. here and my, my hand just keeps getting kind of numbish uh, from, from this person. <laughs> Coming up on Local Haunts, what we all want to see, spirit caught on camera. It's a very happy place, you know. And like you <laughs> said, I don't know why they'd be over there because it's so freaking hot. They were out there by the outside there. I'm like, why the hell would they be out here instead of in the cold room? And so when you give a cool. tour, is that because when I walked in, they said, come this way. Now that makes logical sense because you've got those, that, but that's what it's like you got tour guides over there. Come this way, and then they landed back over there. So um, this place was more of like a surprise for me here, right? This little space here, it's like really? a hidden corner. I came in dark and such, but it's more like over there is where a lot more people would be. See, does that make sense? I mean, out here, does that? Yeah. You, you different times of the year, but yeah, a lot of people like to hang out. I okay. think when it's when, the, the time, yes, the time of year where it's where you have to, the um, fall festivals and such. But like we'll that. have bands and stuff in here when the warm months come, and it just gets really over there. A lot of the, yeah. Is that so a that's, kitchen over there? Hmm? Is that a kitchen? Oh, the kitchen. Well, let me tell you about the kitchen. We had a guy that cooked for us. Uh -huh. Who's the Jamaican? For six years. That was um, that was Vernon. Jamaican? Vernon. Well, he's not. Because he's I Jamaican. walked in and you heard me say Jamaican. Well, there's a reason why. He was a jolly man, and he kind of gave that kind of um, vibe. But he wasn't Jamaican. But he passed away a year ago. But it, two years ago. Doesn't January. it make sense that it was? Did he have kidney issues? Issues? Um, not that I know Okay, of. so yeah. there's somebody else here might be crossing the reeds with somebody that you're connected to who's on the other side. Like yeah, I did. Okay, so uh -huh. you see how it is? Yeah, I, I, I uh, yes, exactly. We said, okay, yeah. Um, don't rally it up so fast. <laughs> Let me get some more. I can get words out okay. first. And then okay. you say, oh, All right. yeah. Because okay. I definitely have, but your father's not earthbound and neither is Jamaican man. He was the one who was actually saying, come on along. And so he, he's, a tour guide. he's like a tour guide. Yeah, he's he's he. Okay. So it, also to the female that's in the office, she, de she is, she's not transitioned yet. She's not bloodline connected. She's just, um, she's happy where she is. She's just, she'll go, but she's, it's not a bad thing actually. So mm -hmm. she's still, it's her life is just still going on in the physical realm, though she's not in her physical body. Like one of the first things that, that they showed me was the Berman. So both are existing, actually all realms exist together in a way. So we're in the physical realm, we're physical. Your father and Jamaican man, he's heavenly. But your father was talking to me about how his mind wasn't cooperating like he wanted it to. Does that make sense? It's work before he passed, who's connected to him with the mind, with what happened to the brain. We have a little bit of a brain bleed connection here. Okay. Um, it's not, when, no, not, not my father. Who's that then? Because your, your daddy was talking about your mom being on the my other side. Was, uh, yes, my she still is. <laughs> Very much around. Fully trans She's on the other side, but fully transitioned as well. Coming up on Local Haunts, what we all want to see. Spirit caught on camera. <laughs> Next time on Local Haunts, we continue our investigation of Bold City Brewery. We capture amazing EDPs. Did you hear that? Uh -huh. Did they say live? Did they say yeah, there's somebody everywhere in here. Good. <laughs> but just, most places we go, there's activity, but not everywhere. Oh, really? Like, you know, a lot of times we're like, oh, you know, you'll have to go find it. But here, it's, it's yeah. everywhere. And we capture what everyone wants to see. Spirit caught on camera next time on Local Haunts.